Recently on the local show, we asked, where are the Garmins and the Cerners of the future going to come from? We took you inside the Blue Valley School District's $12 million CAPS building, where the next generation of engineers and life science researchers are getting a head start while still in high school. Believe it or not, students in the CAPS program have also created dozens of businesses and products, everything from rechargeable cell phones to a prosthetic knee brace. When the Chamber of Commerce talks about making Kansas City America's most entrepreneurial city, is this where the next generation will come from? Half of what they teach you and uh, the very first thing they teach you is about professionalism and business and um, they teach you how to market your idea and where to go, how to start, who to talk to, how to basically create your own idea and start your own company. To be able to go from, hey, I think this is a good idea to this is how I'm going to make my idea work and this is who I think can use my product. You would not get that uh, opportunity outside of an environment such as CAPS. A year or so ago, we started seeing students create products that were provisionally patentable. Anything from prosthetic arms and trying to make those better, to a better mosquito repellent, to a football helmet that will position a, a spine that has less impact. I always was an idea man, I'm creating ideas and inventions. I actually moved from Texas uh, to CAPS program just because uh, my mom told me about it and it looks really cool so we uh, I moved up here with her and uh, started as soon as I got here uh, working on my idea for the headphones. Uh, we are creating a wireless in-ear sound piece receiver. Uh, it's called Whisper and it's going to be a wireless in-ear headphone. The way that the strands communicate is actually really, really vital to the success of CAPS because if Trey hadn't been able to come down and work with me on this project, I would have never, ever come up with the idea of working on a project such as this and it would have been really difficult for uh, Trey to find yeah, I mean, he, he knows all about the, all about the circuit boards and uh, programming and uh, that's not my specialty and so the strands being able to, to uh, communicate is uh, very helpful and allowing us to work together has made all the difference. Uh, we just had an event the other night where uh, we brought in businesses to where the kids from the accelerator pitched all of their ideas to um, local venture capitalists. These students will literally pitch their ideas in front of investors at, who will provide some seed money for them to be able to start building prototypes and proofs of concept of their ideas. So I had some mentors, one specifically, that became an angel investor of one of these kids' businesses. So now that's the next step. It, once a kid has a proof of concept, we have tapped into a whole underworld of entrepreneurs and VCs and angel investors, and it becomes very real very quickly. Project-based learning, I think, is, is really a benefit, especially to the way that, that a lot of prof professionals are working these days. Um, we're finding that companies are trying to become more innovative and more collaborative, and a project-based learning curriculum, I think, really feeds right into that and allows, allows the students to be comfortable in that environment and, and really uh, understand the importance of collaboration. Um, think about the transformation they're going from, from being locked down in their schools, um, binded up really in that hairball, if you will, release of that here and be able to follow that path of their own thinking, their own personal touch, and really have this awakening of, holy cow, I have incredible strengths that I've never discovered. What CAPS really looks to produce is students who will succeed in the business environment instead of um, a lot of high schools looking to produce the students that will succeed in college. CAPS just skips over that and says, we need to produce students who are ready for the real world, and because they'll have the skills they need for the real world, they'll be fine going through college. And um, an opportunity like that does not happen anywhere else. Rich Miller with that report. Lead funding of KCPT's reporting of education issues is funded in part by a generous grant from the Kauffman Foundation and additional